Radical. Welcome to Radical 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 Response for January 9th through January 15th, 2023. Short comments, quick replies. Mr. Lone Wolf, hell nah. I don't do pay it forward, especially if the person behind me is driving a more expensive vehicle. And on top of that, it feels like an IOU. Yeah, great point. Now, the pay it forward line we talked about where people get in line and then they say, I'm going to pay for the car behind me because somebody paid for their food. But what happens if you look in your rear view and the person's driving a brand new sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar Audi or a BMW, right? Well, you can make the argument. You can make the argument that if they're driving a brand new Audi or a BMW, you might want to help them out because their car is going to fucking break down. You know, I hope it has like a good warranty and whatnot. Uh, now, if the car behind you is a used BMW or a used luxury car. <laughs> Maybe like a Maserati that's 20 years old, a Ghibli or something like that. Maybe you still should. You still should. It's a stupid practice, you know. What if the car behind you is actually not a car? What if it's a moped or something, right? That shouldn't make any difference. I just thought it was kind of funny. Or uh, I always thought about how it would be funny on April the 1st, April Fool's Day, to just walk up to the drive through or something and just kind of like stand there. I wonder what they would do. You know, can you walk to the drive through? Technically, you should be able to. They just might say, hey, hey, sir, sir. Oh, wait, radical rapid fire. Got to move on. Retro reminiscence. Bring back hand checking. It's getting out of control. I went to my son's youth basketball game and every player was shooting nothing but damn near logo threes. Almost every possession. Everybody thinks they're Steph Curry nowadays. Yeah, say what you will about Steph Curry. You know, greatest shooter ever in the game. He, he... <laughs> He really started something with those long threes. Now when everyone has a logo three or a long three, you know, they yell, Curry, Curry. So, yeah, it is getting out of control. And, you know, he, he's very influential when it comes to him, Dame Lillard. You know, the kids watch the basketball games and that's what they want to do. But hell, to be honest, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun seeing how you can make the longest shot possible. But, like, if I do that, then I'm just practicing. If I'm playing an actual game, I'm actually not going to be doing that shit, you know? Because you look kind of like a jackass if you make, like, one Logo 3 out of, like, 20 or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how big the court is for youth basketball. I don't know. Never played youth basketball. Never. I don't have any kids, so I don't, I don't know, you know? Uh, Larry Bender Jr., what a stupid practice. It's wide open to abuse for people ordering a ton of food, expecting to get it for a few bucks for the person in front. Yeah, see, that is open to that because let's say the idea is you're going to rig the system and here's how you do it. I'm not saying I would do it, none of you should do it, but if you're in a pay it forward line, it's open to that kind of abuse of that system because if you notice this pay it forward line and you hear somebody in front of you that's ordering or just saying okay this is what i'd like um and i would like to pay for the person behind me since the person in front of me paid for my order well a person could hear that and they could say well i'm gonna give me about three buckets of chicken three buckets of chicken four large teas more food than I could ever need right now. Hell, I'm going to take some food over to my friend's house and feed them and their family. So then potentially, if you say I'm going to pay for the order behind me, hell, they could rack up a two, $300 bill. Rune Mamba, since when did white people like to eat tofu? Did I miss something? Well, I think I was talking about comparing what white people eat and what black people eat and what Hispanics eat, you know, and that uh, I opened up a discussion and people commented and and uh, I, I couldn't really for the life of me think about like what white people have been maybe salty and crackers. I think I left a comment to you. Tofu just kind of popped up. Now, I'm a white person and I have never eaten tofu, never eaten tofu. I like taters. I eat taters. Maybe white people in taters, possibly. Um, black people, as far as black people go, I've never met a black man or woman that did not love fried chicken. 
and my friend James, which is, you know, my proxy for black people, right? He's, he's my black friend. Um, I ask him what he likes to eat. So I find out from my black friend, James, and then he tells me what black people eat. So it's simple as that. And I pass that along. Carom cheese. As a longtime Detroit Lions fan, beating Aaron Rodgers and the Fudge Packers at Lambeau Field might as well have been our Super Bowl, as sad as that is. Yet there are some teams, there's some franchises that really kind of never get there. They never get there. The Lions are one of those teams. They've never, uh, they've never got a Super Bowl. And I don't see Super Bowl in their future. But sometimes there are certain games that are your Super Bowl. And between the Lions and the Packers, yeah, those two franchises don't like each other. So if you're able to play a spoiler and you win that and you keep them from getting there, then yeah, it's uh, almost as good as a Super Bowl. Well, not really, but still, but still you get to celebrate that. By the way, Aaron Rodgers, I'm not sure. What team has he chose to go to? Or is he staying with the Packers? I'm not sure. I've heard Raiders. I've heard Jets. Eh. Captain Kurt Games, milk emoji, toast to the new era. Yeah, when I read that, for some reason I thought about, have you ever seen the show Aqua Teen Hunger Force? There's a character named Carl. Carl Botana And one of the funniest things he's ever said is he was talking about uh, how single he was and being single. And he was like, oh yeah, it's the beginning of a new era of loneliness. Oh, God. Man, I need to go watch me some Aqua Teens right now. But yeah, there's a new era. Or maybe it's the same era. I'm not sure what era we're in. I always thought to myself, like, when it comes to YouTube, five-year eras, does it go by years or does it go by different things? I'm not sure what era of the YouTube channel I'm in right now. I don't know. This is year seven we're in, so I'm not sure exactly what era it is. But thank you for the toast, too. The new era, if it's a new era, or the same era, I'm not sure. Shane Jordan, all these years, and I still watch this guy laugh out loud. Well, Shane, it's good to see you're still around and whatnot. Um, You don't comment a whole lot, so it's not to say that I forget about some people. But if people don't comment a lot, they're still around. I know there's people here that just kind of lurk, and never comment and whatnot. But they still listen, they still follow. And to those people, I'd say, you know, just leave some comments occasionally. Let me know that you're still alive and kicking. Uh, I've been here for now this year seven, and it kind of makes me sad to know that statistically, some of the people that I talked to in year one are no longer on this earth. Some people, maybe they have overdoses. Maybe some people got hit by a train or whatnot. Um, So hopefully I'll see a lot of the uh, subscribers in the afterlife. I know the final era would be like the last era before, you know, I move on and I'm, you know, in my uh, late nineties still recording. Hey, what the, what the fuck? It's time for radical (laughs) Rick, radical, (laughs) radical Rick rapid fire. What the hell do I call this? Lobo near Lobo neener. Sorry. Just don't sell your channel to Saudi Arabia. Like Vince McMahon did. See, month or so ago, we all thought Vince McMahon, because it was reported that he sold to Saudi Arabia, we all thought he sold WB to Saudi Arabia. But it came out to be false. But Vince McMahon actually said that he would sell to the Saudis or whoever for $9 billion. $9 billion. I think it's kind of a crazy number. Because you think about Disney bought out Marvel for like half of that. Was it $4.5 billion or something like that? I don't have it with me, but Disney paid a lot for Marvel, but you know Disney has the money. Does Saudi Arabia have that kind of money? Yeah, I mean, they do. Uh, would it be a smart investment? I don't know. I know that that's uh, not something that we could, we could do quickly in Radical Rapid Fire and have that discussion, but yeah, $9 billion. I don't think Vince but really wants to I don't think he really wants to sell it. Maybe he set that price so high, so either way he wins. He gets a ton of money or he still re- retains control of the WWE since he's back. Casper Nieber. I think it's a great change. Radical commentator could have worked as well, but great change. And sorry I butchered that last thing after Casper. Nieber. Okay, Casper Nieber. 
All right. I, I get, you know, I get ahead of myself sometimes. Well, I mean, I'm happy with the change. Radical commentator could have worked. Uh, radical writ commentary could have worked. I bounced off some different names and whatnot. And it just looks good. Looks fine. It looks nice. I like it. And the thing is, it doesn't. It could be a part of something bigger. Like it doesn't just pigeonhole me just to YouTube. I mean, Radical Rick Entertainment, that's something that could be very big one day, you know? So I, I like it. It looks professional and it's just a simple, simple change. It is. But uh, a lot of you, uh, thank you all for coming by and actually leaving, uh, leaving some well wishes. People say that, right? Well wishes. But I've never been near a well. I've never fallen in a well. If I would think, well, that's actually bad luck. Well wishes. With all the people that have fallen in a well. Uh, Will Gibson. Maybe I can make a joke about falling in a will. But no, I'm not going to do that right now. Or falling on a will. I'm just, I'm just going to... I tried to make a joke there about just moving along. Will Gibson. Rogers. Aaron Rodgers is a legend. If you can't take that, then go cry in a corner. He is taking the Super Bowl next year. Then I said, legends play great and win Super Bowls. They don't <coughs> choke year after year after year. Don't get mad at me for this. Don't get mad at me for his 12 yards passing in the fourth quarter. Hell, you and I would probably get 20 yards, laugh out loud. And here's the moment where I felt a little bad because this person responded, Damn, that's harsh. Well, then maybe old Aaron should hang up the shoulder pads. I could have completely ruined Will's day. I could have, right? And that's not even, I mean, his comment still, maybe he deserved it, maybe he didn't. But uh, yeah, I hope I didn't ruin Will's day. I, I can I can crush people. I can just crush people if I want to sometimes. And uh, I responded back to Will. Either that or ask for a trade. Maybe he could win in a new situation, but he's got to take things seriously. So, Will, if you're still listening, which probably not, you know, maybe you stopped by for that one upload and you're like, Radical Rick made me cry. Uh, if you are still listening, maybe Aaron could win possibly in a new team, new location. I'm not sure. And maybe he could get some losses so he doesn't fucking choke in the, in the playoffs or before the playoffs. Penguin Wizard. I heard from a friend that one of the crown jewel events over there are some of the worst pay-per-views in the last couple of years. Yeah, talking about WWE and their crown jewel events in Saudi Arabia. I think it's kind of funny that out of all the pay-per-views, those are some of the worst. I mean, partly it's because for those pay-per-views, they bring back some of the legends, the big names. And the Saudi Arabians, uh, they know about the big names. So they bring back some of these old, broken down people. And I think at one point, uh, Kane's mask and wig, he got his wig split and it fell off. You know, I mean, Kane hasn't wrestled in life forever, but they'll bring back the legends. It was Kane and the Undertaker versus Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Who, Shawn Michaels, who I thought retired and... 2009 was it damn that's a that's a ways back so yeah they are some of the worst worst shows they really are and that's kind of funny so yeah saudi arabia <laughs> but they got the money hey it don't matter they're probably happy with it you know they got tons of money they'll spend money for terrible pay-per-views art bell rick we're seeking out this video james rolf commenting on being bald he regrets not shaving his head ages ago Fan of the a holish variety channel. Uh, it's, it's not really worth it to me, but maybe to you and some others it might be worth it. I don't think it's really like a big deal. Um, Because, you know, a lot of guys, maybe half guys, eventually do go bald. It's not a shocking thing. People act like it's the most shocking thing on earth, but no. Uh, half guys eventually will lose hair, lose some of their hair and whatnot. And... Uh, you said that he regrets not shaving his head. Well, some guys will do this where they start shave, they start and just shave their head when they notice that they might begin going bald. I think if you really want to do it and just say and play it off like, ah, just shave it because I don't like dealing with it, then you got to do it 
like at the very moment you might have the smallest bald spot. Then you start doing it, then no one knows. But then if you know you, you're lost a lot of your hair and whatnot, then you start shaving. I don't know. To me, it doesn't look like James, the last upload I saw, it doesn't look like he's really bald. Maybe has like a bald spot. Is that what you mean? Because there's a difference between having a bald spot and then being fully bald. Uh, yeah, but like I said, not really worth me checking that out, but still, you know, it was worth me replying to your comment there, Art. So take that for whatever it is. Bartholomew, hey, I have this drive, the same drive that uh, I showed off in my show off Saturday. I got the pink one because for whatever reason, they were selling it for cheaper than the black color my local computer shop. Uh, yeah, well, two things here. One, that upload. If you didn't see my pin comment, that was actually the precursor for Show Off Saturday. So that's the unofficial first Show Off Saturday, just retroactively. So if anyone refers to the first Show Off Saturday, history will state that even though it, well, it's still not the first. It's kind of the first. I don't know. You can debate amongst yourself, which is actually the first, because that was recorded first before the first one that actually got uploaded. But back to this. In general, things that are pink will sell for not as much as things that are black or red or blue. Because the thing about pink is, especially light pink, is guys do not want to buy pink things. Women will buy pink things. But the fact that you got a pink one and you maybe don't care about it because it's pink, like, okay, it's just a it's just a drive. You're gonna get a deal on it. There is a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt that was on clearance at Walmart. There was a lot of shirts there, but eh, some anime shirts. I, I like anime. I watch anime, so I like uh getting some of the shirts and I get compliments on a lot of these shirts, especially from the females, right? But what killed getting that was the fact that it was not white or black. It was pink, not dark pink, but light pink, like faded pink. You know? And I was like, damn, that's a deal breaker, even for five bucks. And I would try to buy, I would buy some to resell, but I think guys would be like, no, it's cool. I think I'm just going to steer away from that. Uh, Jordan Smith, he did Greg Dirty. Talking about the completionist. I forgot who Greg was. And that is something I might be kind of curious about because, you know, did he scam him? Did he, what did completionist do to Greg? Maybe at one point I did know, but I did not know. That's something I actually uh, might find interest in for about four or five minutes, but maybe not really. I'm not sure. Just kind of curious about that. Claude Spieler VT. Purple Tinker is also blocking people thinking he is the victim when he isn't. Hey, 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 you need to call him ma'am. Purple Tinker is, he wants to be defined as, you know, no, he's actually, I mean, she. Wait, you need to call her ma'am. I'm not sure. So Purple Tinker, let's see if I can remember what happened exactly. Uh, Purple Tinker basically got someone fired at Limited Run Games because Purple Tinker, he complained about something, maybe like a tweet from one of the people. You can tell I don't make any notes. I don't have any notes beyond the article that I read for it. I just forget about this stuff mostly after I upload it, and just to be honest here. But I will say, thinking you're the victim, you can't do something and get something done and then play the victim card. Nah, nah, nah. That's not how it works. Purple Tinker got basically this person removed from limited run games. Just think about that. You're working somewhere. And then somebody complains. A fucking transformer complains and gets you removed for some shit. Not some things you did on the job, but you know, it's just stupid, silly shit. Oh, you're not hundred percent on the trans bandwagon or whatever. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that, I say. Three times. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And fuck Purple Tinker. You do not get to make the decision to call out somebody, get them fired, and that happens. You don't get to play the fucking victim, dude.